Hi everyone, it's Jane again and welcome back to my university series. Recently, I realized that there are a lot of videos that talking about college or university, like college and university advice, eating I wish I knew before I enter university, study tips for university, but I rarely found a video that are talking about literal things to prepare before the semester starts and you're going to be a freshman in a university or college. Of course, we're going to talk about university advice, study tips for uni, and stuff, so make sure you stay tuned for that video. I realized that preparing for university is crucial because there are a lot of students that failed their entire university life just because they didn't prepare enough for the first year, for the freshman year. Therefore, I want you, especially those who are going to enter university or college this year, to know everything to prepare because apparently you will spend 3 to 4 years being a university student and I guess you don't want to waste those years doing nothing valuable just because you didn't prepare enough. The fifth tips is the tips that a lot of students forget to do but in fact is really really impactful so make sure to watch until the end of the video okay let's go first prepare for accommodations and transportations this may sound basic but it can be frustrating if you didn't think about it seriously if your campus is located in a different city or even a different country make sure you already have a home or a place to stay a month before the semester starts I suggest to start looking for a place way before the semester begins because there are a lot of students that are looking for a place too. So if you just start looking for a place like a month before the semester, there will be no good places left for you. All the places that comfortable, cheap, and close to campus will have already full. Or if your campus have a dorm, don't forget the registration day because usually the registration period for dormitory is really short. Besides home, you need to prepare for transportations. Not all cities and countries have a good public transportation system. So you have to decide what transportation will you use to go to campus, to go to library, to go to grocery store, and basically anywhere. For me, I decide to walk to campus every day because my apartment is close to my campus. But some of my friends ride bicycle or motorbike. And by transportation, I mean the campus internal transportation too. As far as I know, usually a huge campus will have shuttles or minibus to carry their student from building to building in that campus. But apparently, not every campus have an internal transportation, so please make sure that your campus have one. If turns out that your campus doesn't have internal transportation, then you need to think about how you will move between places in campus especially if your campus is massive. Second tips is prepare your academic stuff. For example, if you are a STEM student, you will eventually need a scientific calculator and a laptop with a good processor because you will use a lot of serious applications and you need a good laptop to open it without lagging. If you are going to have some practicums, then you need some laboratory stuff too, such as lab coats, googles, and gloves. Besides from the STEM things, you also need the basic things like something to write your notes. Either it's a book, a binder, or a digital note. You have to decide about it too. And don't forget the stationaries and your bag, because those will affect your study eventually. Oh, and by the way, I will discuss some note-taking advice for university in my next video. Okay, third tips. Read your syllabus and academic calendar at least for the freshman year. Actually, you need to do this every year, but the freshman year is the most important. Usually, every campus will give you the academic calendar before the semester begins. But if you didn't receive one, don't be afraid to ask for it to the administration office. By reading the syllabus and academic calendar, you will know any big events that will occur in the semester or this year, such as midterm exam week, final exam week, courses selection period, etc. Moreover, you will know what you will learn in this semester or in this year, so you can make an academic plan just like what I'm going to discuss in my next tips. 4 tips Make an academic plan 
You can determine the scores that you want to achieve in the end of the semester for every subject. For example, I want to get a straight A's for every subject. What? Nope. By making these goals, you can determine how often will you study beside classes, is it better to study with or without friends, what books will support my study, and things like that. So, what I'm trying to say is, by setting a goal, you will have an output or an outcome from your study that you are going to achieve in the end of the semester, and it will guide your study during the semester. Because if you just study like as it is, without any goals or purpose, you will lose interest and motivation sooner or later. And we don't want that to happen especially in the freshman year. Tips number 5. Look up for your seniors, especially the one that took the same major or course with you. Find out their activities in campus. Like what do they do besides studying, what organization they join, what extra courses did they take, did they get some scholarship or student exchange, did they join a voluntary, and things like that. By doing this, you will have an overview about your life 2 until 3 years from now. If any of your seniors get a scholarship, ask for tips and tricks to get that scholarship. If any of them did an internship, ask them about their experience and their opinion about the industry. I didn't ask you to be overly friendly and annoying to your seniors, but trust me, being kind and friendly to your seniors will help you a lot in campus. For example, I don't have to buy new books every semester because I can just borrow them from my senior. I often got their notes too and even the last year exams from them. And trust me, they love to be asked by their juniors, especially if you compliment their achievement. Last tips, set an overall goals, not just academics, but for your social life too. For example, I want to join a study exchange program in this semester. Or, I want to join this organization in my next semester. It also can be like, I want to make a study group with my friends to study this subject. University is not just about studying, but your overall life actually. And there are a lot of things that you, as a university student, can do that others don't. For example, scholarships and student exchange. So, before you realize that you waste almost 4 years and miss all those good opportunities that you get only in university, it's better for you to start to plan your life from now. I know preparing for your university life is not easy, but trust me, realizing that you have done nothing for the past 4 years is harder. Thank you everyone for watching until this far, please leave a like if you love this video and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any updates from me. Stay tuned for more updated university and college related videos and until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye bye!